Hi guys, happy Friday. We're going to be finishing the book Stella Diaz Has Something to Say. There's a cover and again we're, we're going to be finishing it. It's by Angela Dominguez. And I just really, before we start reading, right, I just wanted to kind of talk about like the book and just what we've seen so far. If you guys remember in the beginning, you know, it starts off with Stella being nervous about, you know, um, kind of like having a new friend because her um, her friend isn't in her, uh, her friend Jenny's not in her class anymore. So she's really, you know, just nervous about meeting more people. And then she meets Stanley and she gets so nervous, right? And then she starts even like worrying about her friend and just really wor uh, worrying if Jenny's not going to like her anymore because she, she has a new friend called Anna. And you see that all of these things that Stella goes through, right? She goes through the um, the fears of losing her friends, of not of being too weird, like an alien, right? Like Stanley, um, even though he's new, she's like, you know, how is he so cool and I'm not? And um, she goes through that. And then we see that Stella goes through um, through the just the uh, troubles of like speech. Right. So um, like just the problems of like, you know, when she knows two languages that she says that she really wants to say something, but she says something else. Right. And that's happened to all of us. Right. Has that ever happened to you where you really want to say something and you say something else? Right. So that's happened to her, too. Right. And then that she she just talks about that, how it's sometimes so hard and um, to even to even talk sometimes just even stuff like that. Then she um, talks about also about her presentation and just all the cool things and even just something like playing games, right, doing PE and how she just felt so nervous. Then we, if you guys remember, uh, Stella was able to see her family for Thanksgiving, her tia and her grandpa, right? They came over from Mexico and she really got, you know, started thinking like, wow, like what if I would have stayed in Mexico? Would I have felt like comfortable over there? And the more, as the book keeps going, Stella got, starts getting more and more comfortable, right? Here's her book she wrote, remember? She starts getting more and more comfortable about who she is um, and just realizing, realizing that she's pretty cool. She can draw. She's really good at writing. She's good at spelling, right? She now learns how to uh, ride a bike. Like, just she's going through a lot of things, and it, and then she learns to ignore a lot of the people who bully her. Right? A lot of the people that bully her, that like uh, Jessica, who like, you know, would make fun of her speech, uh, her speech or just not even being able to like sometimes getting stuck with her words or getting nervous to say something. She learns how to ignore her. She's able to be friends with Stanley at the end because remember they met at the aquarium. So just all of those things that are coming together now and that she's really, you know, starting to really feel comfortable in who she is and just realizing that she's really cool. And I hope that, you know, you guys are able to uh, really connect to this book because it's the same thing, you know, what, that all of us face. Sometimes we feel a little nervous because we think people don't like us. But in the end, it's like we're really great people. And like um, Scylla's mom, you know, says, it's like it just really matters what you think about yourself and how you feel. And again, this is just like remember that you guys are unique, that you guys are special, and that if someone's ever bugging you that you should speak up or they should just ignore them because on because in the end, you're the one that's great, right? You have all of these great qualities that you only know. And that a lot of the other people know, but we're just too, maybe they're too shy to let you know how cool you are, right? But it's so cool to see how Stella has been growing in such really like, um, and if, if you guys remember in the last chapter, she really killed it in her presentation, right? With her Jacques Cousteau with the submarine. So we'll see what goes on in chapter 20, right? In chapter uh, 21, I believe. We're in chapter 21, Okay. So here it is. Here's the cover. And we're reading the last chapter. Here we go. Even though it's summer and we finished our animal project, I still like reading about marine life. My new favorite is the sea otter, mostly because I love seeing several of them at the shed. The shed was the aquarium, remember. It also doesn't hurt that they look like little teddy bears with thick, soft fur. While researching them, I found out when they sleep, they hold onto each other's paws so they have someone to protect them. Look how cute the little sea otter is. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Let's keep reading. I'm too old to hold hands, but if I were a sea otter, I would never have many people to hold paws with. I'd hold, my, I'd hold paws with Nick, Mom, Jenny, and my family in Mexico. I even think Stanley and I would be a sea otter and we would be sea otter amigos. Jenny and I are also talking about doing a sleepover with Anna and Isabel. I've never done a sleepover the, that big before. For me, summer doesn't officially start until my family walks to overways to get ice cream. 
Of course, we could drive there, but walking is more of an adventure. We pass through different neighborhoods where there are all types of houses. There are gingerbread looking houses, big houses, houses with pools. I like to imagine how different my life would be if we lived in one of those big houses. Then I look at mom and Nick and I don't want anything else. Our favorite game to play as we walk is spies. Mom always starts us off. Okay, niños, where's our big mission? Russia, I say. In all the spy movies, they are in Russia. Oh, good one, says Nick. I'll be Boris. Call me Natasha, I say. Mom laughs. Then we pretend we're being chased. We run into between houses and Nick tells the dogs to be quiet while we tiptoe. By the time we get to Oberways, we're dying for ice cream. I usually order lime sherbet with nuts, but today I want to try something different. I go with strawberry frozen yogurt with gummy bears. Nick always gets cookies and cream. Mom is crazy though. She likes to switch around. Sometimes it's coffee, butter pecan, and cho or chocolate. She puts her hand to her chin, pauses, and looks at me and says, What do I like? Without a doubt, butter pecan. I answer. Nick rolls his eyes. Why do I have to live with two loca ladies? We're not crazy. We're just creative, I reply, crossing my arms. Then I put two fingers above my head like an alien. Nick ruffles my hair. After our ice cream adventure, I meet up with Stanley and Jenny to ride bikes around the parking lot at school. Stella, can you ride your bike without holding the handlebars? asks Stanley. That's scary, I exclaim. Stanley and Jenny raise their arms for a second and a half. It's, Stanley says, F-U-N, F-U-N. Jenny agrees, try it, Stella. I feel sweaty as I lift up one arm, then the other. My arms are shaking, but it feels a little less scary than I thought. I left out a small, a small howl. It feels great. I raise my arms higher above my head. Then Stanley and Jenny join me, and the three of us howl together. And that's the end. So the end. at the end, she's riding bikes with her friends, right? Stanley and Jenny. And they're both with their hands in the air. Look how fun this book was, right? Wasn't this book really, really fun? I really enjoyed this book. And if you see, here's a little fishy in the back, too, with color. Here's, again, the cover, in case you guys didn't get to see it. It says, Stella Diaz, Diaz has something to say. My Angela Dominguez, there are the little fishies. But how fun, right? So now she's like, it's just like she's she's now in the summer. She lived through this whole school year, right, without her friends. And now she's in the summer, and now they're riding bikes. You know, and now she can ride her bike because she learned how to do it for her birthday. And now she's even raising her hands. Like, how, how brave of her, right? So it's so fun to see this. And really, when, you know, after reading this book, I think, like, wow, like, there's a lot of cool things that I can do too, right? There's a lot of cool things that maybe I don't know how to do. Maybe I'm a good speller. Maybe I'm good, draw, uh, good at drawing. Maybe I'm really good at video games. Or maybe I'm really good at hiding when I play hide and seek. So what is something that you're really good at, like Stella? Because everybody has something. So try to think of something that you're really good at and think, wow, like that's pretty unique. So just go ahead and think about it, okay?